Greetings, Scotty here of Black Talk Radio News on the Black Talk Radio Network. This particular video, I want to focus on the word more. And the reason that I'm focusing on this word more is because I have come across Moors or black people who call themselves Moors here in the United States. And they have just been very disrespectful to other black people simply because those other black people call themselves black. Now, it's true that most black people in America don't know their ancestry, and we know the reason why. The ones who were brought here as enslaved Africans were just cut off from their ancestral uh, heritage, and many of them don't know what tribes from Africa, what nationality they may be, because all nationality means is the nation you belong to. If you are from Nigeria, you will be a Nigerian. If you are from South Africa, you'll be a South African. If you are a Kenyan, you are from Kenya. So that's what nationality means. More, as has been told to me, does not denote a nationality. There has never, ever been a country on the face of the planet called Moor or Moorland or Mauritania. Well, there was a place called Mauritania. But there is no nation called Moorland. So, I mean, it does not denote a nationality. And then further to my point, in the lunacy or the ludicrous way that these people tend to seem come off like they looking down on somebody because they call themselves black. They say, if you call yourself black, oh, you're a slave. That's, that's a slave name. You're, you're calling yourself a slave. You don't know who you are and all this and that. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to break it to you, Moors, but you don't know who you are either because more just simply means black. And so I can't, I had done some research on this after I was disrespected by a Moor and saying, I'm, you know, when I referred to black people as black, uh, that's a slave name and, and we're indigenous and blah, 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 blah. So anyway, I started looking up the um, etymology of the word, the origin of the word, word more, and it's a European word. It's not a word. It's not an African word. It's not a uh, it's not a word that is uh, tied to a religion, you know, like like those who practice Judaism are called Jews. That's a religious designation. More is not a religious designation, although many Moors are Islamic or may practice Islam. It's still not a religious designation. More means black, and this website Taneeter.org is a good source. Uh, I have looked at two other sources on the origin of the word and the same as I found here. But the reason I'm showing you this website is because it provides more supporting evidence. So let's just go over some other stuff and I'm not going to pr try to even pronounce some of these words. But anyway, the origin of the English term more spelled M-O-O-R is the Greek word uh, mavro which literally means black, blackened, or charred, and has long been used to describe black or very dark things such as uh, mavri, the lassa, which refers to the black sea, or mavri spilia, which means black cave. Ancient Greeks used the term to describe the complexion of Africans, and even today, some Greeks use mavro, to refer to Africans, although in a pejorative term, so, uh, so you know, as an um, insult. One need not to be a linguist to see the words evolution from Greek to the Latin word. Um, also, you will find, let me go down, it says that um, maris, the English transliter transliteration is maris, and the plural form is Maurice, specifically used by ancient Romans in reference to black Africans. Writers in both Greek and Latin specifically use the term as a racial identity. So, you know, I'm even learning something. I'm, I thank that person for insulting me because it led me to look up some stuff and to come across some knowledge. But I was under the impression that racial classifications only came about because of the slave codes of Virginia here on, in, in uh, the um, 
British colonies at the time, which would later become the United States of America. But the slave codes is the first time I have seen them put into code laws to discriminate against black people. Now, the reason they had to pay uh, pass laws to discriminate against black people you would think, well, if they were already slaves, then why would they need a law to strip them of rights because they don't have any rights if they were all slaves? Well, that's your first clue, that every black person that landed on these shores did not land on these shores in chains getting off a slave ship. Or, or Yeah, so, you know, it's just so much ignorance, and I blame the school system, and it is on purpose that so many black people don't know these things. But to be honest with you, most Americans, regardless of their racial classification, their skin pigmentation, are ignorant because of they don't go to school. You know, they go to school to train you to be a follower. They train you to follow orders. They don't train you to really think for yourself or to do research. They keep a lot of history from you so that they can continue to support the false religion of white supremacy. So anyway, it goes on uh, further. Let me just read some more. Further proof of the true definition of the Latin term Morris can be found in early English Latin dictionary. Morris was synonymous with more Negro and a thief, Theops in John uh, Edix, a New English Latin Dictionary, 1783. In a New Latin English Dictionary by William Young in 1810, Morris is a black moor. According to the Ainsworth Latin Dictionary, Morales Abridgment by Alexander Jameson, Robert Ainsworth, 1828, Morris means black moor. The English term more also meant black in English dictionaries and encyclopedia prior to the 20th century. More meant Negro or blackamore in a dictionary of the English language, 1768 by Samuel Johnson. The encyclopedia um, Londonesis by John Wilkes lists more as follows, a Negro, a blackamore. John uh, Ogilvy's The Imperial Dictionary of the English Language, 1882, a Moor was a black man or Negro. Somehow, by the 20th century, and I did find evidence of this, Morris and Moor suddenly transferred into, transformed into Berber or Arab, a grave contrast to the historical precedent. So, and I did find uh, um, a source where it was saying that the people who live in Libya, people who look like Muammar Gaddafi, who is a Berber, uh, saying that they are the Moors and what have you. But again, this is ignoring historical precedents of thousands of years, all right, because I'm going to show you some more history going back to the Greeks, um, where Moor just simply meant black. All right, it meant black. So they ignored that and tried to make it refer to Arabs or Berbers. But um, if you chase the his history, then you will find it means black. Contrary to proper belief, the English word more does not descend from Amoravid, the name of the dynasty that controlled much of present-day Morocco, Mauritania, and southern Spain from 1040 to 1147 A.D. Um, Amoravid, again, <laughs> excuse my, def uh, my pronunciations, is actually the Angelica's sized, all right, version of the Arabic name, which roughly means those who are ready to defend. As aforementioned, the Latin and Greek versions of the word more were used several centuries prior to the existence of that dynasty. And according to Arab historians, during the dynasty's reign, the Almoravids were not even native to Africa, but from Arabia. Moors in ancient and medieval European history. So this, this is taking it back even further. The ancient Rom Romans thoroughly documented the lives of the indigenous Africans to whom they commonly referred to as the Moors. By the 4th century AD, the Roman army heavily recruited Moors for their exceptional skill in battle. One such Moorish general, 
I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, um, as described in some book, was so skilled that he was made emperor in the Roman province of Mosia in the Balkan Peninsula. So, I mean, it, it goes on to talk about even more Africans were made Catholic patron saints, such as the popular St. Maurice or Mauritius in Latin, as described in the Passion of the Martyrs uh, uh, by French Bishop St. Eucherius. And according to the text, St. Maurice lived around 286 A.D. and was believed to be part of the Theban legion of Egyptian Christians who served in the Roman army under his command. St. Maurice's brigade was supposedly decimated for disobeying orders to kill Christians in Roma, Helvetia, Switzerland. The oldest known physical representation of him, however, was not created until 1281 A.D. So, I mean, it just goes on and on. Um, talks about Victor Morris or St. Victor the Moor, a martyr who supposedly lived around 303 A.D. So, please check out this. It's tanita.org slash moors.html. Not trying to be antagonistic, but at the same time, I hate ignorance. And then when you try to come at me or any black person in a disrespectful tone as if we're ignorant by calling ourselves black, which we chose, many of our, our parents chose that word in the 1960s as opposed to the word Negro, which again means black. So, I mean, it's just nonsense. This is, this is why there is so much division in the black community and a lack of unity. This is why, because everybody want to separate themselves. Everybody want to be black, but don't nobody want to be black. Okay? So, more means black. So, next time you try to be think that you all uppity and that you know something somebody else don't, you're really looking ignorant. Because you didn't give yourself that name. It does not denote a nationality. There is no more land. Okay? And the word is based in European language, and it means black. This is Scotty Reed, Black Talk Radio News, Black Talk Radio Network, signing off.